Sheila Donegan of CalMAST, Waterford Institute of Technology STEM Engagement Centre. All of us in CalMAST believe it's really important that everybody, young and old, understand and believe in the importance of STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths in our lives. We organise lots of events and festivals to show people this. We organise Science Week, we organise Engineering Week, our Bialthana Living Earth Biodiversity Festival, which this year just went online. We also organise lots of workshops and events for schools and STEM Reach is our programme where we connect primary and secondary schools with industry and with Waterford Institute of Technology so that students can see the relevance and context of STEM in their lives. We also want to show people that science can be a lot of fun. So today we're going to make some slime and have some fun with it. To make our slime we need a number of materials. The first one we need and the most important, the major component of the slime is PVA glue. It's really important that the PVA glue is clear and not the white PVA glue you often see in the shops. The second component is contact lens solution. It's very important when you pick your contact lens solution that it contains sodium borate or boric acid. That's going to react with the PVA glue and make our slime. The third material we need is baking powder. We also need some water, which we're going to measure in a measuring cup. We need some measures of teaspoons. And we need something to make our slime in. The first thing that I'm going to do is take a quarter of a cup of warm water and to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of the baking soda. Oops. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir to try and get as much of the baking soda into, into the liquid and I'm just going to leave it aside for a minute. going to do is I'm going to measure out half a cup of the glue in my measuring cup and I'm going to add this to the container that I'm going to make my slime in. I now have my baking soda that is in the water and I'm going to now add this to my PVA glue liquid. So I'm going to give it a stir. Okay, good stir. I'm now going to add some of my contact lens solution to the PVA and the baking soda, and this is when the slime should start to form. So I'm just going to measure it out first, so I know exactly how much I've added. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of the contact lens solution and I'm going to add it slowly. And as I add it, I'm going to stir it very well. a little bit more. So I'm adding the contact lens solution as, as I'm doing it, I'm mixing it very well. Starting to get a little bit thicker, but I'm going to add some more contact lens and then 
our slime should start to form. starting to look good now. Starting to get the consist consistency of our slime. So you can see I'm giving it a very good stir. It's just starting to pull away from the bowl, but I'm gonna add a little bit more contact lens solution in, just so we can get more a slime consistency. Okay. It's getting quite thick now, so it's becoming harder to stir. So you can see the consistency of what I started with with the glue has changed. We're now starting to get something that is looking like slime. Again, by varying the amount of the contact lens solution you put in, you can get slime of different consistency. I'm going to add a little bit more in. It's really starting to look like slime now. You can now start to take it in your hands and knead it. This is when the fun begins. You can have lots of fun doing lots of different things with slime, just feeling it, measuring it, how fast it's slow, how fast or how slow it goes. We're going to look at some other things you can add to the slime now to make it that little bit different. Is that okay? You can investigate doing making slime of different colors i'm going to try and add some red food coloring into my slime to see what it looks like you can have a lot of fun with this so again i'm just taking my quarter uh, cup of, of warm water i'm going to add the baking soda to it i'm just going to add a little drop of my food coloring to this i think that's a good way to do it. I'm just going to give this a little stir to go in. I have my red solution. So that's going to be the colour of my slime that I make. Again I'm going to add the half a cup of the glue. going to add my red liquid to this. I'm going to mix it well. So I now have a red liquid. And now comes the fun part, adding the contact lens liquid into my glue, to my red glue now. 
and letting the slime start to form. consistency of the slime that you want you can add different amounts of the contact lens liquid in but you need to start to see the um, the slime come away from the container that's when you'll know your slime is formed it's starting to get a little bit thicker but it still hasn't started to come away from the size of the container. When it does start to come away from the container, it's very easy to see that, so you'll know immediately. a little bit more. I think we're coming to the point that it will start soon to come away from the container. So just continue to mix very thoroughly. Hopefully the next one will be the one. You can start to see it's starting to get a bit bubbly around the sides. Again, you can see it's getting a bit thicker. You know, I thought the last one was going to be enough, but I think I need to add one more. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's definitely starting to get thicker. Starting to come away from the bowl, you can see there. Starting to come away a little bit. Stand for a minute to see if that will help the uh, the slime to form. It is starting to form, but you know, let's try one more. Speed it up a little bit. experiment yourself on how much contact lens solution you want to add to make your slime. I can see it's getting thicker now and I'm going to give it a really quick stir. It's starting to look a little bit like jelly now. It has the consistency of jelly just before it sets.
giving it a really strong What does this remind you of? You can have great fun with this. Again, you can just scoop it up. It gets a bit messy sometimes, so make sure that you have lots of newspapers and things like that uh, to mop up all the mess. Okay, here's some slime that I started to make earlier. What I've done is I've already added the baking soda in the water to the PVA glue and I've started to add the, uh, the contact lens liquid solution into it. You can see that it's starting to get a little bit thicker. Because I wanna make this uh, slime a little bit different, I'm gonna add some glitter into it. So this is probably a good time to add the glitter in, glitter in so you can you can actually get good mixing. That looks really nice. Just gonna mix the glitter in. It's looking really good. So I'm just mixing everything around so it's getting good and thick. And now to add some more contact lens solution in. Again, as before, it's important to mix very well as you're adding the contact lens solution in. It's starting to get a bit thicker. and it's starting to pull away from the bowl, that's when you know that your slime is starting to be made. And it's the start of the chemical reaction between the components of the contact lens solution, the boric acid and the sodium borate, and the PVA glue. Let's add a little bit more. If you want to keep your slime for another day, and I'm sure you do, the best thing to do is either just put it into an airtight container, put the lid on very firmly, and it'll stay safe and, and ready to go for the next time you want to play with it. You can also put it into a Ziploc bag if you don't have an airtight container. So have fun with your slime. Okay, so we've made our slime. The more you stir it, the thicker it becomes and the more like slime it actually is. You can see that as you stir it, it goes into a little ball. So why don't you have some fun with the slime that you've made? So let's look at some of the properties of slime. It's a polymer. That means it's a large molecule made up of many repeat units of the same molecule. Poly means many in Greek. Slime has properties of both solids and liquids. It's called a non-Newtonian liquid. Non-Newtonian comes, or it's called after Sir Isaac Newton, one of the most famous scientists that ever lived. You'll have seen 
that when you put the slime into a container, it'll take the shape of that container. You can also roll it into a ball and when you roll it into a ball, it'll keep the shape of the ball. You'll see if you pull the slime away slowly, it'll flow very slowly. But if you pull the slime apart fast, it'll break off. You can do lots of experiments yourselves on slime. You can look to see what would happen and the properties of the slime that you would make if you change the relative amounts of the PVA, the glue, and the contact lens solution. Maybe you could measure how far apart you can pull the slime before it breaks. You could look at what happens if you move your hands with the slime or pull the slime away slowly or fast. If you put glitter into the slime, does that affect how, how the slime will move or the strength of the slime? You could let your slime flow from a height and measure the time it takes to reach the bottom. There's so many things you can experiment with slime. remind you of? I think this would be really good at Halloween. Can you imagine what it would look like if you use green food colouring? So let's look at what's happening. There are three main components in our slime. There's the glue, polyvinyl alcohol. This is a polymer. A polymer is just a giant molecule made up of hundreds of thousands of a single repeat unit. In this case, the repeat unit is vinyl alcohol. Polymers are everywhere around us. If you think of um, compounds or materials that have the name poly in front of them, can you think of any? What about polystyrene? This is a polymer of styrene molecules. You can maybe have heard of polythene. The, the chemical name is polyethene. So again, you've hundreds of thousands of repeat units of an ethene molecule. The PVA glue, it's a liquid, it moves. The molecules of the polymer can move around. Our second component is the contact lens solution. And the chemical in the contact lens solution that is important in making the slime is boric acid and sodium borate. The third component you may have seen in your kitchen is called baking soda. The chemical name for this is sodium bicarbonate. When sodium bicarbonate reacts with the contact lens solution, it releases an, what is called an ion, which is a charged molecule from the boric acid and the sodium borate. This borate ion is what's really important in forming the slime. The borate ion reacts and forms a chemical bond with the polyvinyl alcohol. It's said to form crosslinks and it's called a crosslinker. So now, when the chemical reaction has happened to form the slime, the polyvinyl alcohol molecules are held in place by the borate ion to form a network. This network has far more rigidity than the original glue that could move so freely. So your slime, it can flow, but it doesn't flow to the same extent as the polyvinyl alcohol glue. And that's how you make slime.